So the question I got here is, what does legacy mean to me? And uh, to me is, uh, legacy means when you rewrite history, what is in the history books? That's legacies, what is in the history books? How does it relate to water? Is you can go back through the history books of EPA in 1970s and uh, the Clean Water Act that came about and where we currently stand with clean water. And you can keep going back through time and see where the legacy is with water. Okay, so with my water legacy, the question is, who do I want to influence? Um, the perfect example there is I got a now two-year-old son. While we get in the water every single weekend, we're going to the Lama River, swimming, wakeboarding, wake surfing. Um, as a two-year-old, he is fearless of the water. He's in the water every single second that we're out on the boat. And it's just nice to know that he is swimming in clean water. That's what it's about is, is seeing my two-year-old son out there swimming in clean water. I've shaped uh, my personal water legacy throughout my career uh, really by uh, learning and understanding the value uh, of water, understanding from the client's perspective, from the owners, the citizens, the, the uh, residents, um, the communities that we serve, really understanding that uh, to, to me as a consultant, um, it's really, you know, it's, it's a job, it's a career, but to them, it's their whole life. It's this, you know, each project for us may seem small, even for small communities, medium communities, doesn't matter. Uh, but to some of those community members, it's everything. I would say that the, the most important factor in that has been uh, good leadership. Um, you know, mentorship throughout my career uh, really has, uh, has shaped kind of my opinion and, and my view and really, really, uh, um, uh, really uh, brought brought that kind of that thought about about it being very important to these communities and the the, the people we serve. As I look at my profession in in the water business and what legacy we're leaving in water um, and in our generation, our work, I think back to um, growing up on the water in in Louisiana and. Um, just the habitat, but also the livelihood of being on the water. Then today, um, a lot of our activities as a family and what we do is really centered around water. We're a family of paddleboarders and kiteboarders, and, and we often take for granted that natural environment and just what water brings to us as a community. In my work today and in the future, my goal is to continue to provide healthy solutions um, for our water so that we can continue to use it as a community and our livelihood and trust it and um, be happy to interact with it.